हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक गर्ग एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सर्जिकल स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन द डिजिटल फीमर रिसेक्शन वी विल डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट विद अ केस दिस इज अ केस ऑफ डिजिटल फीमर हाई ग्रेड सार्कोमा वी विल लुक एट द सर्जिकल स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व सो देर आर मेनली थ्री स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन द सर्जरी फर्स्ट इज अ वाइड लोकल एक्सीजन ऑफ द ट्यूमर सेकेंड इज अ बोनी रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन एंड थर्ड इज अ सॉफ्ट टिश्यू रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन सो दीज आर द थ्री स्टेप्स दैट आर देयर we start with the wide local excision we will uh, keep the patient in supine position then we will prepare the entire leg from the inguinal area to the feet and we will not use any tourniquet then after the painting draping we will mark the bony landmarks we will mark the asis patella joint line and tibial tuberosity then as we have taken from the pre operative radiograph and the mri Uh, we will measure the dissection length from the joint line we will mark the resection length and then we will mark the skin incision we will we are discussing the medial longitudinal approach here so we start the skin incision 5 cm proximal to the resection length uh, resection mark and then we will go along the sartorius muscle we will incorporate the biopsy scar we will keep on the medial side of the knee and we will go till the tibial tuberosity so this is a skin incision we will take the skin incision and then we will cut the subcut in line with the skin incision and here we will identify and protect the saphenous vein we can see that this is a saphenous vein arising from the femoral triangle and is going along the sartorius muscle we will need to identify and protect this vein then these are the various muscles that we will need to identify this is a rectus femoris this is a vastus medialis and the sartorius muscle and this is a interval that we will need to open we can see that this is a interval between the sartorius and the vastus medialis we will retract the sartorius muscle posterior medially as we will retract the muscle posterior medially we will expose the femoral vessels and the saphenous nerve we will need to identify the vessels so uh, we will start dissecting the vessels from proximal to distal we will uh, coagulate or ligate the tumor feeders and protect the sural vessels so these are the superficial femoral vessels and the saphenous nerve so we can see that this is a tunnel this is a canal this as we retract the vastus medialis muscle anteriorly we can see that this is a triangular funnel the vessels are going into the funnel and then are entering posterior to the vastus medialis and then they will enter the finally adductor hiatus so this tunnel is called the hunter canal or the sartorial canal we will need to separate the vessels here and we need to protect the vessels and as we will reach the distally in the canal we can see that this nerve is coming anteriorly this is a saphenous nerve that we will need, need to identify and protect so after we have retracted the vastus medialis anteriorly and the sartorius posteriorly and separated the vessels and we identify the saphenous now we can see that there is a opening in the adductor magnus muscle so this is adductor magnus muscle we can see there is a opening and the vessels are entering into this opening so this opening is called adductor hiatus so we need to release the adductor hiatus and we need to prevent the vessels so we can put a artery or a right angle forcep here and release the adductor magnus tendon but we have to be oncologically safe we have to stay away from the tumor and we release the tendon so now we have released the tendon we have separated the vessels till the knee level so at this level we if we want to look in a cross section we can see here this is a sartorial canal this is this is made by so this is vastus medialis sartorius and the adductor longus contains these vessels and the saphenous nerve we can see if the tumor size is more than 13 cm the sartorial canal is usually displaced so the pre operative mri are crucial to see before we plan for the surgery so in the pre operative mri we can see the level of displacement or the level of uh, uh, encasement of the vessels when whether we can protect or not so and till now if you want to see in the cross section we have taken the skin incision we have taken the interval between the sartorius and the vastus medialis we have reached the vessels we have separated and prevented protected the vessels and then we have reached till the tumor so 
at this level we will confirm our resection length from the knee to the level we have co confirmed from the preoperative radiographs and then we will keep a scale on the medial joint line we will mark the resection length and before we take the osteotomy we will mark the anterior level over the femur so that we will not have confusion in the rotational alignment at the time of prosthesis application so or we can put a k wire proximally in, in the femur and in the tibia at the same level so that we will not have confusion in the rotational alignment so at this level we will take the osteotomy so now we have taken the osteotomy then we will come to the knee we will have to do the arthrotomy the, we identify the structures this is a medial patellar retinaculum this is a medial patellar femoral ligament we usually start from the distal and we come proximally in a way that we start from the tibia and then we stay close to the patellar tendon and then we uh, over the femur we, we always and always will have to be oncologically safe and because we want to protect the maximum structure so that later on we will be able to cover the prosthesis properly so then we will uh, have to do the arthrotomy we will uh, have to identify this mcl and uh, then we will take the arthrotomy we will cut the mcl lcl and the pcl at this level we need to identify we need to know the various muscle attachment or the various attachments at the distal femur because we will have to cut all the attachments at the distal femur this is a model showing the medial side of the femur this is a insertion of the adductor magnus this is the origin of the medial head of the gastro if we rotate the model anteriorly we can see this is a insertion of the adductor magnus this is a articularis genu origin this is a vastus intermedius origin and we rotate the model on the lateral side we can see the three tendon popliteus gastro uh, plantaris gastro and the popliteus and over the on the proximal side this is a origin of the sword head of the biceps and if we rotate the model posteriorly we can see this is a biceps and is a adductor uh, insertion this is a plantaris both the head of the gastro so at this level we know that we have at least four tendons that we will need to cut we have plantaris both the head of the gastro and the popliteus and if we will go proximally the resection length is more and we need to go proximally then we will need to cut the biceps and the adductor tendons as well so uh, and we also should know about the popliteus space so these are all the muscles that we should know these are semi tendinosis semi membranosis biceps popliteus gastro both the head of the gastro so these muscles biceps and the semi tendinosis membranosa is crossing the knee joint and inserting on, over the tibia so we need to protect these muscle and the tendons so now we start releasing the muscles one by one first we will release the medial head of the gastro we protect the vessels then we will need to release the posterior capsule because the vessels are lying just posterior to the capsule we have to uh, very be very careful while uh, cutting the posterior capsule we have to keep the vessels under finger or we use a, a artery forcep uh, posterior to the capsule and then take the capsular cut then uh, taking the adequate protection to the vessels and the nerve we can see this is a vessel this is a tibialis uh, nerve this is a common peroneal nerve and this is a plantaris tendon and this is a lateral head of the gastro we will need to uh, release the plantaris and the lateral head of the gastro protecting these vessels then we have cut all the uh, muscle attachments now we have only the lateral side lateral side of the knee that is remaining the lateral attachments we can see that this is a this is a gardis tubercle and so this is a iliotibial tract and this is a fibula so this is a biceps insertion so we will need to protect them and we will come from inside to outside and we will release all the structures on the lateral side including the lcl and uh, we can if in in a cross section if you want to understand how we will need to cut the muscles then if this is a tumor size we will need to stay away from the tumor we will start cutting away from the tumor we will stay away from the tumor we will protect the vessels and the nerve this is a sciatic nerve we will uh, take the uh, nerve sheath as a margin if it is abutting and then we will separate the vessels and this way we will cut the accept muscles so now we have taken the proximal osteotomy we have really uh, done the arthrotomy we have released all the muscles we have protected the vessels and we have marked the anterior on the femur then we will at this time we will separate the femur and get our specimen out 
after we get the specimen out we will measure the resection length which should be same as the length of the prosthesis that we are going to use so this is a now intraoperative picture we will prepare the femur and tibia separately then we will uh, use the trial implants and then we will use the final implants this is a uh, intraoperative picture of the distal femur megaprosthesis so this was a procedure of distal femur megaprosthesis thank you guys thank you very much